Hello everyone, my name is Legend Ronnie and this game is Rise of Kingdoms. In this video I'm gonna just uh, show a small display of Julius Caesar and uh, YSG. Obviously in the future I will do more testings about it because you know Dragotian has T5s, now I have T5 archers as well. So in the future there's gonna be more video about it. This is just like a small display of Julius Caesar and YSG against Cuba J's infantry. Now Cuba J has a max out uh, Richard and a very close to, to Max Charles Martel. He has 210,000 infantry, I have 241,000 archers. And look at that damage, look at that damage that YSG is doing on Cuba J. Uh, he's literally not managing to heal up as fast as I do damage. That is just insane. That is just insane. And there is a little bit of small damage from Julius Caesar as well. But the main damage is from YSG. It's just like 1000, 1000 thing something. And look at that. He is going on yellow already. He's literally not managing, managing to heal as fast as I do damage. So that's an insane amount of burst damage that uh, Julius Caesar and YSG have. Now you're probably saying... Why am I doing this particular type of test? Cuba J is not max in research. Well, his infantry is very close to max in research. He told me that he's very high and he's very close to max out his infantry in research. Um, after this test, there's gonna be one more battle one-on-one -on -one with him where I'm going to test my cavalry. So I tried two setups with my cavalry. I've tried Pelagius with Belisarius and I've tried Pelagius with Osmo against him because let's say I max research I have a lot of bonuses and all that so no maybe I should do some damage <clears throat> so yeah that's just an insane amount of damage that uh, YSG can do behind Julius Caesar I was personally personally surprised about it now, if you watch the video carefully from the beginning, you've noticed some fluctuation of damage. So the red damage, which is YSG, is going up and down. It's like sometimes it's doing 4,000, 6,000, sometimes it's done 8,000. Now, if you're wondering why is this particular reason or why is that happening, is because of the second skill from YSG. So the second skill from YSG, uh, which increased by 100%, Increase the attack of the archers by a hundred percent. Now I have to take in consideration that I have special archers and uh, Obviously that's a lot of attack and a lot of damage that my archers can get so yeah I'm just literally demolishing the infantry I have done two tests with my archers against his infantry and I'm gonna show the reports of that as well so the first test was with Elcid and Herman so I've tried Elcid and Herman against his infantry so there you go 241,000 versus 210 now you're probably wondering why have I used 241,000 because Julius Caesar for skill increased the army capacity by 15%. Then Julius Caesar from the talents has another 3%. So that's 18% army capacity. Which if I wouldn't bring then that means I would negate his skills and his talents. Which it makes no sense. My Julius Caesar is also 52. He has a level 60 uh, Richard. So that's an 8 talents difference. Um... He has 210,000 troops, that is the normal march plus VIP 14, because I'm VIP 14. So 241 for me is the normal march plus VIP 14. So that's 241,000. Both of Julius Caesar and YSG, they are maxed out in, uh, in skills. And uh, his Richard is maxed out and his charge is not so maxed out. So I believe that I did press troops buff or not. If not, I still have the report, so I can check that after the battle. Now, let me go where I did try the Kavari. I was holding it there for, for a while, because I was, you know, like, very, very surprised. So, 
so there you go so this is Pelagius and Osmond now the reason I put Pelagius and Osmond is because of the amount of nuke uh, they have together so I was like listen this should actually do some damage I max research cavalry while it should actually work now let's see if it actually works I'm not doing as much damage as I was expecting the skill damage looks pretty weak so there you go that's Osman this is like 1600 uh, basically I'm not even I'm not even touching him I don't even know if I'm actually scratching some of his, his infantries maybe just by, by mistake I'm probably killing some of them so this is the difference from using special units and using normal units or epic commanders so I'm maxing research I'm maxing everything max commanders they are epic commanders it's true but they are max commanders and I cannot take him down so the way I demolished him with my archers this is the same way he's he's uh, demolishing me uh, he's demolishing my cavalry so it's the same the same thing I just changed the troops the commanders and that's it and he's literally demolishing me and I had a hundred and sixty five thousand troops in the, in this particular build because I had Osman Osman has a 10% increased troops capacity now because he has the 10% increased troop capacity I took hundred and sixty five thousand troops and I believe that he had hundred and fifty thousand troops I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit and after that I'm gonna go into the game and show you the reports it was taking a little bit too long he wasn't taking me down that fast but I wasn't actually damaging him either so yeah I managed to get him on yellow oh hold on oh, just for a moment just for a moment I managed to get him on yellow I got excited there a little bit and then yeah that's it at this point I think he's actually gaining back more troops than he's losing yeah look at that so he's actually going up in the troops because I'm not doing any more damage at this point so I let him smash me yep and the report there you go no this is the one I, I favored well, let me let me go back I wasn't happy so yeah yeah there you go pause so 165,000 versus 150,000 level 45 Pelagos level 11 Osmond 67,000 severely wounded 67,000 severely wounded yep I did you know a quarter of healing from what he's done remaining 115,000 so yeah that's a very high success for him there you go special units proper commanders legendary commanders maxed out you can fight maxed out players and you're going to win but when i was using the counter to infantry when i was using the archers like julius caesar and ysg i mean i know julius caesar is not a archer commander but the main skill of julius caesar is very very powerful then it comes in effect his second skill when the troops drop the count which is pretty significant for three seconds and that's what makes that build so crazy plus is the amount of troops you can uh, get with your Julius Caesar mm -hmm. so yeah there's nothing wrong in that build I like it a lot uh, right now and I will do more tests about that one if this test it's not so conclusive for you now let me just uh, take out this and let me just go into the game so I can show you guys the favorites first thing first this is the lowest power barbarian fort I have ever done so this is the lowest power barbarian fort I have ever done 3.4 K I haven't seen lower okay you don't have to send me pictures I just um, 
you don't have to send me anything right so this is my Julius Caesar so let's check the truth buff so his infantry 104 170 defense 50% health well obviously I dominate in the stats archers attack 120 archers defense 102 and archers held 61.5 so that was a lot of bonuses even for my archers and his charles is five three two five all right so he has five in counter attack that is pretty interesting yeah i'll definitely try with with dragotin uh, to do some you no know, proper testing against you know tf5 versus tf5 his max research too and this is with my Herman and El Cid. So with both my Archer setups, I managed to beat him. So this is Herman and El Cid, same amount of troops, I managed to beat him. I'm, I was pretty excited, you know, I was pretty excited. But as I mentioned, I'm going to do more setups with, uh, with Drago team. So this is what I wanted to show. How is the truce buff on this one? Well, wow, this is a little bit higher. The Archer's attack, defense and health is slightly higher. 128, 23 and 67. Yep, this is much higher on this one. And my LCD is still not maxed out. So that's going to be a bonus once I manage to max out um, my LCD. Well, that's pretty much about uh, this video. I'm definitely going to do more one-on-one -on -one, uh, uh, battles and videos. Because now I have T5s and definitely I can do more interesting stuff. Until next time, this is your Bullet Ronnie signing out. Peace out, yo, and take care.